when I'm up on a place like this, not only can I see all the beautiful scenery, but I can see lots of wonderful memories from up here. Because every summit you can see from up here, I've been on top of, and some of them many times, and with different people in different times of the year. And so it's just a lot of beautiful memories. And that's something nobody can take away from you. At the age of 72, Jim Disney continues to challenge himself as he tackles the trails of Rocky Mountain National Park, a place he knows so well he simply calls it Rocky. Anytime I was heading to do with the park, I was referred to it as the spiritual center of the universe. And for me, it is. And I, this, I just love this place. And I, I've gotten more from it than I could ever give back to it. But it just, it's just paradise. An experienced mountaineer who has been to the summit of Denali in Alaska, Rocky remains Disney's favorite place getting close to 550 ascents in the park. Like I've done Long's 93 times. Long's Peak, the highest mountain in Rocky, poking through the clouds at 14,259 feet. When you push yourself up trying to find out where your limit is, how, how strong you are mentally and physically, and, and it's amazing, I think, how how much more the human body and mind is capable of than most people think. But it isn't just the physical challenge that attracts Disney to the mountains. It, it makes us realize we're not nearly as important as we think we are. And that maybe it's okay not to know everything. And when you first start to admit you don't know everything, that's the first step toward wisdom. Disney says he finds spiritual renewal while he's surrounded by the spectacular scenery of the park. And as a professional painter, he also finds inspiration. You know, I'll see something and maybe you just kind of catch it out of the corner of your eye, and, but it sticks, it resonates somewhere in there. And you think about it for a while and uh, it starts percolating in your head. It starts becoming a painting in your head. Back in his studio, the painting in his head becomes real as his brush dabs oil on canvas. I'm looking at it and thinking, okay, does that look like it felt when I was there? Am I, is the light feel the same as it did when it was beating down on me while I was there? Disney says he tries to capture the mood, the emotion, the essence of the scene. Picasso said one time, a painting is a poem without words. And when you're working on it, it's not a matter of making it look like what you saw when you were there, but more to try and convey to people who are going to look at the painting the feelings that you had when you were there. That's, that's the difference between a camera and a, and a painting. Disney has been painting for half a century now and figures he's completed at least 500 canvases, mostly scenes of the mountains. This painting is uh, the title for it. I love obscure titles and it's called Never Summer Autumn. This is the view from uh, the saddle between Iron Mountain and Thunder Mountain. We went up and climbed Iron Mountain one time a couple of years ago and we were coming down and it's in September, beautiful autumn light. It's been a windy day, so that there was, it created that atmospheric uh, condition where the peaks recede into the haze and uh, just a really pretty September afternoon. For Disney, art is a way to share his love of the mountains with others. I hope that they, they see the beauty of, of nature and the, the importance of nature in our lives and uh, stay connected to places like this so that future generations will, will value this like we do and maybe even more and, and want to protect places like this and, and see that they're preserved for more future generations. That's really important to me.